It's time to drop the hammer. Leary down on the inside, trying to take him down into turn number one around the outside. Cal Cummins, been stout runner, and down on the hills comes the five M Carswells. Hang on to McDougal. Bikes it up down into turn number three. He'll fall back into the field up front. Cal Cummins leads lap number one. Leary right there, hot on his heels, three wide, back behind. Is down on the inside. Justin Grant, the four car goes to fourth on the field. Red comes out. One up and over, down in turn number one, and I believe that's Brandon Maddox. Yes, unfortunately, Chet, you are correct. He keeps him down low on the racetrack, punches the throttle. We're back underway. Shoot down into turn number one. Emerson Axon blazes across the tail feathers of number 77 to see Jay Leary. He'll find himself side by side with McDougal down on the inside. Jason punches his way through that little divot down on the inside of the racetrack. As here comes a charge now out of Jake Swanson, the 21 AC car. Robert Blue and Justin Grant still locked in that tussles. Here comes the 69 Brady Bacon. Blue has a moment. 12 car gives up the spot to the number four. He gets right back down to the inside. He'll run her deep into turn number three. Trying to come to call on Grant. Bacon working off the bottom of the number 69. Trying to find his way to the front as well. As Jake Swanson once again runs down. Emerson Axum in 47 BC in a battle for third. Looks down to the inside, Axel keeps that door closed down on that low lane for the 47 BC car. As he continues to pedal it around the bottom of the racetrack. Two cars now between himself and CJ Leary to 77. CJ just cannot get back to Cal Cummins. Cummins ripping off about a 13.5 lap time that last time through. He has got tremendous speed. Emerson Axum still holding down third on the field. Jake Swanson, now Justin Grant's come to call in that position as well, rounding out those top five cars. As they work out of turn number two and down the back, shoots. Mitchell Moles got sideways. He got into the 33M cars. He had to slow and weigh himself down turn number four for Matt Westfall. Westfall able to keep it goosed up, though. And we stay green flag racing, but now everybody having trouble getting down turn number four. So 21 AZ gets pinched on the wall. Here comes Brady Bacon. Bacon to 69, trying to run down a podium spot now as he has started back on the outside of row number four. And the laps continue to dwindle away. All that through lap traffic out of the corner and onto the front straightaway. Now over a three second advantage for your race leader up front. It's back behind the 21 AZ, Jake Swanson trying desperately to hang on to the final podium position with Brady Bacon pestering hard as they come around the racetrack for lap number next, just a handful remain up front. Bacon is right there. Just behind that battle continues to ensue between Robert Ballou, Kevin Thomas Jr. up to sixth now, Justin Grant back to seventh, and that three-car battle through three and four and onto the front straightaway. Jay Stockton in that little bit of a mix as well. So he gets passed by the wayside. Cal Cummins giving it to what for? Down the back shoot into turn number three. He'll bring it on to the front straightaway, and a white flag will fly for the racer out of Princeton, Indiana. It's one more voyage of velocity. He's looking for a $35,000 payday here at Kokomo Speedway. And the Ellie's Custom Trailers, the car, Sprint Car, SmackDown 11, Cal Cummins goes wire to wire. $35,000. Holy cow, did you witness something tonight? Make some noise, race fans, for Cal Cummins. I think the entire town of Princeton, Indiana showed up for Victory Lane. They are making their way down to the BC Park at Victory Lane. And that young man is taking a deep breath here. There he is, race fans! Pay him off! Oh, he's got the big check. We're going to send it down with Christy. For a guy who has been absolutely electric here at the Kokomo Speedway, not only just this weekend, but for years on end, his victory lane celebration is nothing short of electric itself. Kyle Cummins is your winner of the 11th edition of the Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts Sprint Car Smackdown at Kokomo. 
and what a deserved win for the driver out of Princeton, Indiana, who has been on the brink of such a thing for so long, not even just this weekend. He came so close to sweeping this event just a few years ago. And the big check that they have in their hands says $15,000, but the one that gets cashed in the bank says $35,000 for Kyle Cummins and this Rocksteady Racing team. Kyle, the song that you selected for your walk-up song tonight was My House. We might not have gotten to hear it, but nonetheless, after being so close so many times, now that you have picked up the biggest non-wing sprint car race in the state of Indiana, can you officially say it's your house at Kokomo Speedway? Finally, baby. I, I, knew, I knew in Sprint Week that we had an unbelievable car, and uh, we opened out of the box, just unreal. Uh, we about dumped it there in the, uh, that little qualifier thing, and all I was thinking about was, oh, Hank's going to kill me. Um, they were, I was really uncomfortable the, in hot laps and that, and um, we just put some fresh bars in it, just thinking maybe, maybe one was dead, and uh, it was a completely different race car again. Uh, but I got to thank the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, keeping me safe, uh, keeping everybody else safe. Uh, got to thank, um, you know, this team's unbelievable. Um, all the fans for coming out. Uh, I was kind of like in a bum mood on Thursday. It just didn't seem like a race day. And, um, you know, then last night, I thought we had a great, great thing Friday or th Thursday, and then Friday. Uh, we just, you know, the way the track was, I had a, you know, third or fourth place car and I couldn't get, get anything done. So um, I hated to kind of back off, but I wasn't going to, you know, crash CJ trying to pass him for third. So um, I was kind of bummed out going in tonight. And then, um, you know, I just put the faith in these guys and make some changes and, uh, you know, just get this thing comfortable again. Because the first night and a half, it was, it was on kill. So, um, you know, the car was unbelievable. Um, track had some character here and there. Um, you can run the top, bottom. Uh, it, it was unbelievable, but I uh, just thank Mid-America Safety Solutions, Ultimate Predator Boats, uh, Tim Mason with Remax Midwest, Greenwell Auto Body, s &C Machine, um, Project Oversight Services, CSI Shocks. We've had them things back and forth, just checking them, and, you know, they get them right back to us, and uh, they're good to go. And um, got a, yeah, <laughs> got a, uh, I don't know, Gillstrap Motors. There's a ton of people on this car. Uh, Lucas Oil Center, Mach 1, K1, uh, Quick Car Gauges. Um, I don't know, uh, bell helmets, um, keeping that thing from fogging up. And since I switched to them, it's the only way, only thing to run. But um, uh, sharp safety seats, put a new insert in my head. And uh, if you don't have one of them, uh, you need one. Uh, just everybody out there uh, just giving us this deal. This is uh, by far the biggest win of my career. And uh, the 500, literally the first lap, I was like, 500. And I was like, how many more can I lead? And uh, on that yellow, I was like, I'll get in my head here and uh, fall back. But thanks for all the people to put that money up. Um, that's pretty exciting. And then, um, you know, Coleman Speedway, uh, best racetrack, non-wing, hands down, um, in the country. And um, this one, uh, this one's for Dirk. He's, uh, he's been riding along with us uh, through the thick and thin. And, um, you know, this, this is his win. Before you even caught lap traffic, you were testing out different lines, top, bottom, middle. Was that just your wit trying to prepare you for what you might have to encounter up front? Well, a couple of times, uh, just the way the car was coming out, it was so rough, it just like forced me down there. And instead of blowing the corner, I just kind of went for it. And then um, there was a couple laps where I didn't hit the top good enough and uh, a lap car pulled away from me. And um, I thought I seen someone on the inside of me. So I thought that was like second place. And uh, so I was like, okay, the bottom's gotta be where it's at. And um, so I just moved around back and forth and it just seemed like anywhere I went, um, you know, the car was great. But um, just give it up to the whole team, everybody for coming out. Uh, we finally got one of these. I never, I didn't know if I ever would with um, um, Courtney and Grant, and um, you know, finally got one. So now I can strike it off the list, and uh, I won't have to uh, endure that pressure again. At long last, Kyle Cummins is an Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts Sprint Car SmackDown Champion.